It... It worked? I made it back to the night of. But before... Storm's here too now. Maybe it's everywhere. And if I'm here, then... Sophie. The Overlook. Which Sophie will be there? The one that drank champagne with me out of a crappy mug? Or the one who hurt so many people? Even herself. I didn't want any of this. I tried so hard to save... <laughs> Fancy seeing you here. Which Sophie are you? Am I even Sophie? After all of that? Holy shit! <laughs> you really did it! <laughs> Weather's worse than I remember it. The storm followed me. So did I, apparently. I. Never done that before. I guess it's time. Do you understand what you're asking me to do? You've already done it, right? At this point, it's just recitation. Sophia, I'm serious. This is too much. Stop stalling, Max. You saw what happened. There wasn't any of me left. It was all Moses and Ben and Lucas and Gwen. It hurt so much. I hurt so many people. Help me fix it. Please. That's what it feels like to capture the perfect photo. It feels good. Final. Maybe we are cursed. You, me, and Maya. Or maybe the world is cursed. We just live in it. Safi. That's poetry and bullshit? Yeah. I know. You're so important to me, Sophie. God, you're such a cornball. <laughs> Pull the trigger. No! Fuck this! choice between two shitty futures. Come on.
Okay, so looks like I'm not dead. And I'm in the North Quad. Small victories, Max. It's so quiet for a storm. Like, oppressively quiet. Safi? Safi! I'm not in the past anymore. Safi could be back, Max? Safi? Safi! Mom and Dad? Blackwell Academy? That was. that was forever ago. And. What's wrong with my phone? Why can't I respond? Max! I can hear you! But where? I can't find you! What's going on? Is it an emergency? Yes. Unfortunately, it's one only I think- HELP ME! Diamond? Max, thank God! I walked out of the snapping turtle, and then somehow I was here! You know where we are, right? We're in the North Quad. Why are we the only ones here? I don't know, but if things are weird now, they're only going to get weirder. That's not comforting. I wish Moses was here. I hope he's okay. Come on, let's get inside. This storm is as bad as it looks. Maybe Sophie and Moses found shelter. Max, I'm right behind you. not here. But Moses is? Getting blocked by a cat is definitely a low point. I'm past the living in a dorm age. I'm past responding to Warren's texts, too. Yeah, Moses? Give me the Cliff Notes version of what we're actually here to see. Since when do you smoke? Doing normal people shit like some kind of healthy, productive member of society. Doors don't seem super reliable right now, so I guess it's good you're outside for now. So should we be worried about this crazy asteroid hitting Earth? Are you trying to tell me something? 
just trying to capture the perfect photo. The perfect photo. The perfect photo. Hang on. Safi? All right, Max. You have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? Safi, are you in there? Max! Max, it's me, Moses. I... Moses! All right, Max. You have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? I don't know. I guess I'd... Right. But that... that's just Safi. I haven't double exposed a photo in a while, but if I superimposed two images of Moses on top of each other, maybe I could separate the Safi parts out of Moses. <coughs> Max, thank you. I... I... What happened? I don't know. It was like Safi had locked me in a kind of... I don't know, a sarcophagus? I was trapped, but still protected somehow. And I could hear Safi. I could hear you. Just outside of it, I... What did she say? She was hurting, Max. That's all I could tell. Whatever you did would snap me out of it. Or snapped her out of me? Max? Max, where? I'm sorry, I. Sophie? Sophie? No, stay here. The storm. I've been through something like it before. Reality gets unreliable. Better if you sit tight. Machine Angel Psychic Storm? Take care, Max. See you on the, uh, flip side. When a door closes... A window opens. This isn't Caledon. This is Blackwell Academy. Chloe was shot here. I listened to it happen. I... You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Chloe! Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do. I am so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! <sighs> Maybe Sophie's right. <sighs> Maybe we are cursed. Cursed to relive our worst moments over and over again. I had a chance to save Chloe from this bathroom, from Nathan's gun, and I did. And dozens of people died 
instead to my storm. Well, joke's on you, Storm. If you don't think I play out this moment in my head every day, then you don't really know me. Where is that coming from? Kate, you deserved better friends than the ones you were stuck with. Better than me. It's in one of these stalls. Okay. That's new. Lucas, I have to get down there. Okay, one neb is cute. Kinda. One. Kinda. This is not that. Told you this place was the portal to hell. Behold, a devil. Jesus. Possessed dolls much? Jefferson's sick photos. One binder for each girl. Never believe people who try to justify torturing women by calling it art. It, it can't be... anything but that. I can't. I can't. I was 18 when Jefferson trapped me in that chair. Not 18 anymore. So this is what it's gonna take. Oh God, I can't move. Dreams. I... I don't want to look at this. Oh, I can feel him looking at me through... Staring at this makes my head hurt. <laughs> no! No! Never again!
once is all you get. Time to get the hell out of here. Still need to get to Lucas. A forgotten hope. We gaze at each other in the windowless box. It is flight or fight. Never forgive. Lucas, it's me. It's Max. But there are no bells, doors, or windows. Only his face. A mirror. And I feel a forgotten hope. Smile, Lucas. Maybe double exposing the photo again? It worked with Moses. Max. It's really you. In the flesh. I thought I was dreaming. Sophie was there. What the shit is this place? Stay put, okay? It's dangerous out there. I think that's all I can do for... Is Caulfield? Is that you? Reggie, I'm so glad you're okay. Max, what the hell is happening? I'm not sure. It has to do with time. A time vortex that manifests in a storm. Ugh. Time vortex? Fuck, you're right. I remember Safi being shot. And I remember seeing her around campus. Just stay here, okay? I'm going to fix this. This is Safi. Isn't it? This is her pain. What we did to her. Vin. I don't think Safi blames you for- <laughs> No. <laughs> You're right. She doesn't. She was in my head back there, and she doesn't think about me at all. Two Safis in two universes, and neither of them cared if I live or die. <clears throat> you know, I, I was in love with her. Or I thought I was. Maybe you should focus on what's in front of you. Yeah. I should go make sure Reggie's okay. He looks like he could use a hug. Or something. I'm going to fix this. Trust me. I do. I do trust you. Be careful, Max.
Okay. Out of the frying pan and into the turtle, I guess. Amanda, thank God. Are you okay? I don't know. Weird shit at the turtle is someone flipping the paintings of the bathroom key going missing, not this. What is this storm? Why is Gwen out there? And why are you not also freaking out? Look. Go get yourself some water. Or a beer. And I promise I'll explain soon. Or try to. I don't think Gwen entirely knows she's outside. Gotta find a way to get close enough to take Gwen. Chloe. God, Chloe, I'm sorry for everything, but I'm also so, so tired of being sorry. Ben's photo. There's so much snow, but at least I can get it. I'd be used to this. At least the motel is new. On tonight's motel mishaps, Max tries to make a grilled cheese. Accidentally commits arson. Even if I were hungry, I'd rather just wait till I'm back in the snapping turtle to eat. Chloe's lockpicking set. She could even get me to open up. You're the Coronado Carver? What do we move in together? While pet my baggage is such an on-the-nose metaphor. That's why Safi is the poet, not me. It's past time for me to get a new one, but we've been through so much together. Ah, yes. The famous mountains of Topeka, Kansas. Just how I like them. Tall, shady, and not too bright. That can't be the right time. Chloe and I aren't enemies. She just doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Coronado Carver? What do we move this together? You my No escape, huh? <laughs> Buddy, that's the story of my life. <laughs> Don't worry, Sophie. I'm coming. Is this the same room? No. This is where I stayed in Santa Fe. Chloe used to tell people my abandoned space's photo shoots were just an excuse to be alone with her. She wasn't wrong. Lose my number. Trust me, Chloe. I've tried. Don't know how she did it, but Chloe was like Top Chef Drifter on one of these in our motel stays. If you told me in high school the one constant in my life would be this tripod, I'd have guffawed. You didn't have to put on your red dress for me. Hmm, the artist really captured this sleepy seaside vibe here. Just so you know, the more you say no escape, the more I'm going to try. on. Okay, wait. This is... pretty sure this is that motel in Cleveland.
problem is, Simon, I haven't just been remembering the past. I've been living in it. Even in my dreams. Never did get used to sleeping alone. Love having to only grab one thing if I'm leaving in a hurry, but... What if I want to stay a while? Damn. This painting actually feels like dreamland. I know how this is gonna sound, but... That tripod taught me how to stand on my own two feet. Alright, Cleveland. After this shoot, I'm gonna nap till June. Maybe September. I'm so tired. Maybe if I lie down for a few minutes, all of these rooms will stop spinning. Feels so nice to rest. I wish I didn't have to get up for that shoot. Who was the client again? Or the location? I... That's the problem with... Moving around so much. All these rooms really do start to blend together after a while. One big, amorphous blob of motels. Like some kind of here if I can't even open this door. How... How do I get out of here if I can't even open this door? Let me out! Now that I've traveled to Purgatory and back, I can finally see what's going on with Gwen. I'm back. Jesus, Max. Warner Girl first. Sorry. You disappeared and I don't know where you went. I'm okay. And I promise I'll explain everything. Later. flirting with you, right? Listen, I'm here to help you. <laughs> I adore you, but read the room, bud. That's Sophie, all right. Hang on, Gwen. It's almost over. Thank you. 
you. I... I'll tell you who you are. They were all... Safi. They called me a fraud. A coward. It's okay. I got you. Amanda, you and Gwen stay here and take shelter. Wait, what are you gonna do? Safi's out there. Somewhere close. I can feel her. And she needs me. I need her. Be safe, yeah? When am I not? Why do I always gotta fall for the weird ones? Always forget you're so huggy. Did I do it? Are you you again? As much as I ever was. Thank you, Max. Don't thank me yet. We still have to find a way out of this place. Or this time. Hey, I'm taking a minute. All of that was pretty fucked up. Yeah. Who needs all the king's horses, all the king's men? I've got you to put me back together again. <laughs> I didn't really do anything, I just took pictures. False modesty is annoying. Oof. So. Any chance of everybody just forgetting I tried to rip out their soul? I don't think so. Everyone I've encountered seems lucid. And the timelines seem to be combining. Great. Fantastic. We'll deal with it. Time travel, alternate universes, scraping together the broken pieces of your unstable friends. What else can you do? I don't know. Get a lot of nosebleeds? Migraines, too. This power involves a lot of ibuprofen. What? You just seem... Extremely chill? Considering we're still stuck in a supernatural time storm. It's the little things in life. Frappuccinos, movie marathons, chilling with your bestie in the void. Here's the thing. I'm glad you were here too. You know. But I just tore everybody apart into tiny little pieces. They'll forgive you. Will they forgive me? Maybe I don't forgive them. Maya isn't any less dead. Everybody I cared about still betrayed me. My mom. I'll never be different. I think the best thing would be... Clean break. 
I don't belong here. Don't say that. Of course you do. After your hometown got whirlwinded, what did you do? I ran away. You're not like me, Safi. You're way stronger than I ever was. Don't say that about yourself. You have it wrong. People like you and me, we don't belong at some B-tier liberal arts university with a bunch of wash-up bloggers ready to knife each other for tenure. We're fucking divine. <laughs> Come on. I'm serious. The shit that we can do, gods can do that stuff. Or monsters. You can say whatever you want about the choices you made, but you aren't a monster. You're my friend. I hurt people. And I fixed it. We can fix it. Together. Of course. Duh. That's why you're so confident. The figure's the only person I can rely on is me. Sophie, I don't... Last piece of me, Max. It's in you. Why isn't it hurting me like it hurt everyone else? Maybe I trust you? Maybe it's more of your magic Max bullshit. I wish I didn't have to take it out. Safi. This is maybe the least weird thing that's happened to me in days. We should though, right? That's how we get out of here? If I had to put money on it, yeah. It's probably for the best. We don't want you to get an infection or anything. <laughs> See you on the other side. Sophia. Oh my god. Yes, mean. Everything is going to be okay. Don't worry. Do you think you can get up? Can you oh, Sophie, help me. Clean break. Remember? Maxine. Oh, don't let her go. It's okay. Sophie. You do have a place here. People need you. I need you, Sophie. Hmm. Sophie? I don't know her. I can be anyone, Max. I can be a cute girl at the bar. I can even be...
Toffee, stop it! It's... It's real? I, I wasn't hallucinating? What are you? And what did you do with my daughter? You can make her forget she saw that, right? Better yet, you can make me unshoot her. You have an instant undo button on life, Max. Why not use it? I'm not your magical toy you can wind up to fix all your problems. You saw how bad things can go. You're right. I've got a lot to learn. So teach me, Miss Caulfield. What? You said we could fix everything. Together. Sophie. I can't. I have... Fuck, I have... My, my life. Everybody. I'm going to find other people like us. People with powers. I spent my whole life thinking I was the only one. Knowing I could never tell anyone because they would look at me like that. But now there's you. You and me. Time traveler and a shapeshifter. Imagine <sighs> what we could do. And who cares if I'm a silly little girl whose mom needs to show her how the world works? Because now... It works however I want it to. Stay here. Keep your job, your life, whatever irresistible glory Caledon can offer you. But I have to know. When I come back, are you going to stay with me, Max? Are we in this together? Or is everything you said in the storm just words? I'm so glad you're okay, Sophie. And I'm happy you don't feel alone anymore, but I know what happens when you just use your powers without thinking. Get out a jail free card. Okay, Max Caulfield. <laughs> Be seeing you.
She knows me better than anyone. Knew me better than anyone. The me now, though? After all this? Maybe it's time I found out who that Max is. waiting for me at the snapping turtle. Good to know that the storm aftermath didn't undo the effort I put into that godforsaken puzzle box. Hey, Alice. Hey. Hey there. <sighs> Miss Caulfield. Sorry. I'm still kind of on edge. When the storm started, I followed Lucas to that rundown bowling alley. Shit. You were there too? Then everything stopped making sense. I'm so sorry, Loretta. I had no idea. Trust me. It's over now. So, do you also remember that there were like two of you? And, and now they're fighting for space in your head? Well, it didn't work the same way for me. But that's because... Wait, are you asking on the record? Not yet. I'm still doing research. Why? Do you know something? You wouldn't believe me even if I told you. I'll text you when I'm ready to do interviews. gotta be silver linings about this whole thing. Huh. Guess the Safi Memorial is no longer here. Or maybe never was. After all the storm shenanigans. Working on your new book? Maybe you should switch to science fiction. Real fucking funny. I just had some kind of psychological breakdown and you're laughing. I don't really know how to explain what happened. But... You should think of it as a second chance. My life's fucking trash now. No thanks to you and Safi. You're toxic, Max. I can't surround myself with that kind of energy. Maybe I'll write my own book about this whole mess. My side of the story. Uh, well, goodbye, Lucas. Good luck. Go fuck yourself, Max. I know. I was shocked. How are you holding up, Alexa? Hmm. 
So what are you going to do now? I wouldn't come back either if I was... Yasmin, I haven't heard from her since the day she came out of surgery. Hello? Hello, Bexit. How's your shoulder? The bullet missed any major veins. But it will be months of physical therapy before I can use my arm. Yasmin, what you saw during the storm... I don't need an explanation. Not yet. If I try to understand, then there will be no room for my recovery. And I will recover. I have to find Sofia. Any news about your job? I heard the board, um... Uh, I have been arguing with them. I made my mistakes, but these are offset by an excellent track record. And did the board buy that? They did not, no. I have been asked, <laughs> forced, to step down. I love my daughter, Maxine, just like you. I am not a monster. I haven't heard from Sophie, if that's what you're trying to ask. Oh. I, I had hoped. One moment. Excuse me, I, I'm apparently well past the appointed time to take my painkillers. <sighs> Until next time. Here goes nothing. I guess I'm not surprised. Would you come looking for us if you were her? This is a go to your friends situation. Yeah. Maybe we should go easy on her. Wait for her to pick up the pieces. In the meantime... Take your time. I'll be here when you're done. I want to check on how everyone's doing first. You're the one who's been texting me for days. So you're super Max. Guess your secret identity's gone, huh? wanted to tell you. But you couldn't. Just like with the Maya thing. Any more secrets, or do I finally get to know you now? I don't know. This isn't my first time seeing a storm like this. It's not super easy to explain. It is pretty insane. <laughs> you know, I remember rejecting you. 
And then you just found a version of me that still wanted you. A pretty cool trick. But kind of fucked up. Where does that leave us? I'd understand if this changes things. I don't know if I can answer that right now. All of this scares the shit out of me, honestly. If it weren't you, I don't know how down I would be to play Lois Lane. But it is you. And I like you. I think I need time. To sort out my shit? Give me a little. And then who knows? <laughs> Maybe you can win me back. Challenge accepted. So, have you heard from her at all? Who, Max? Sophie. I barely- Hey, Max! Our Lady of the Storm. <laughs> wow, let's not do that. How are you guys holding up? Oh, my whole world has been rocked. You rocked my world. <laughs> I remember a bunch of things happening that I plan to repress until I have a spectacular nervous breakdown at age 40. At least you're in this together. Yeah. I, I don't know what I would have done if I was there by myself. <laughs> For now, I just want to get through this election. Oh, right. The Abraxas election. So you're not stepping down? I'd ask how you know that. <laughs> but at this point, Caulfield, if you grew another head, I wouldn't even blink. <laughs> I'll get right on that. Diamond's gonna be pissed you aren't stepping down. Diamond's always pissed. Max! Sorry, I just... You're gonna explain what happened, right? Hey! Me okay? What do you think it all means? Why you? Or Safi? I used to ask myself stuff like that all the time. Come up with any answers? No. But I did fuck up a lot of my relationships in the process. Wouldn't recommend it. How are we supposed to walk around knowing something like that could happen? You already handle that every day. Anything could happen at any moment. You could be hit by a car, struck by lightning. Is this your pep talk? Some weather we're having, am I right? Hope that wasn't the grand explanation you promised us. Hey, isn't eloquence your job? I just take the photos. 
I felt how much she hated me, Max. It was terrifying and disappointing. Yasmin played everyone against each other, Gwen. She used you. I don't think I've ever felt like such a mark. It's in the past now. I hope so. Oh, one more thing. That video footage of me. That was Safi, right? Yeah. Fuck. That girl never does anything halfway. Neither do you, now that I think about it. Anyway, I talked to the committee that fired me. There's enough weird shit that's happened, I think I can argue my way back in. I failed Safi. But there's other students here I can still support. I won't just let it go. I'm glad to hear it. I think that's everyone. Okay, Moses, let's... That storm seemed kind of evil, all I'm saying. Yeah, it was dangerous. But you're projecting. <sighs> Everyone's pretty shell-shocked. Yep. How about you? Still excited to have double memories? <laughs> I can't be the only one. Seriously? Come on, it's fascinating. Well, I feel better knowing you stood up to Safi. She cares what you think. Maybe it'll make a difference. I hope Safi figures her shit out wherever she ends up, but... I don't want any part of it. I missed two weeks ago. Hey. We're a team, right? I'll handle it with you. No more hiding or running away. What about the blue hair girl, Chloe? Are you ready to stop hiding from her? It's finally starting to make sense. I think so. Not yet, but I never knew what to say when they'd say to call a friend. But I think it's starting to make sense. And I'll try to get it right To have you on my side I feel fine some days I just wanna get it right I think it's time I explained a few things And I know that I won't have to try sometimes won't always make sense and, suddenly and I ask you to stay. I'm not proud of every decision I made it's okay and suddenly but you don't walk away like the rest do and suddenly I have so much more I could tell it's the truth what's coming next is going to be difficult for all of us on my side, but if we're going to get through it together, some days, I promise. I just want to get it right, and I know that I won't have to. This time, I'm not going anywhere.
We're gonna have to get you a blood transfusion. What the fuck are you doing here? You remember me. That's flattering. I've seen nosebleeds like that before. So you can run, or you can follow me and get some answers. Your choice.